What is going on everyone? Uh, it's Rated Designs here and we are doing a tutorial today. Now <laughs> it's been a long time so because uh, you know a lot of a lot of things but uh, I'm back so that's all that matters. Um, and yeah so I'm gonna do a tutorial today. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me you know do these tutorials on a lot of the effects I do and some of the work I've been doing. Um, that's including you know some of the ad work and even just some work in general that I do um, you know uh, whether that's posters or you know just just cool um, things so I wanted to kind of just show an example which I'm trying to look for right now as you guys can see and you guys might be hearing my clicking it's just because my mouse is okay here we go this is a good this is a good example um, but uh, yeah, my mouse is close to my mic, so could be that. Um, anyways, actually, let me move that so that we can. There we go. Anyways, um, so as you guys can see, this kind of example here, and what I did is, is I just did a really you know interesting type heat wave explosion type effect here, and it's very simple, but it adds a lot of flow to uh, a piece of work and just in general, I think. So I'm going to show you kind of how I do that on, on uh, people. And a lot of people lately, I've been working with um, geometrical shapes, which I will show you real quick. Um, where's my MBA? And I'll open this one up for you. As you can see, you know, these shapes right here and kind of this explosion type thing. And a lot of people just kind of have been kind of wondering what is it. Um, I did a video prior to this, but th um, that is just basically the, uh, dis uh, dis I don't know what I called it, but disintegration or um, desperation or I don't remember what I called it. <laughs> um, anyways, it, it's kind of like a distorting type effect that where you can get something to look like it's falling off somebody in a way. Um, so this is kind of, I'm going to show you guys just two little uh, things that you, you can kind of make something uh, basically a little bit more advanced through that. So one thing that a lot of people um, like to do is they like to, you know, take their favorite athlete. I'm just using John Wall right here because it's a render I was using. Um, a while ago, but uh, this is just John Wall, of course, and you know he's he's pretty cool looking, of course, already. So well, what I do is automatically is I go to my Topaz Labs adjusts preset that I always do. Uh, I'll show you what I do basically as I go to psychedelic, switch the strength down to about 80, and I don't screw with anything else, and I just hit OK, and that doesn't work for some reason. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, necessarily come out the way you want just because it's not in its original form um, but it, you know what it doesn't even matter we're not even gonna go into that uh, so what I'm gonna do here so I'm gonna duplicate make a mask and invert it of course um, filter liquify and this is okay um, I don't know what's going on here but Looks like the the uh, what I created. Let's just try this. So I opened it up in this. Let's see if it just works real quick. Okay, there. Okay, and we can move that file. New. No. We'll just do a bring this over here. Alright, and we can just, I'll do a white background, and anyways, we're going to go back to this. Anyway, so we're going to go, just like I said, duplicate, mask, invert. So we're going to click on the actual icon, liquify. And this is one of the ways you can do it. A lot of people create actions to where they just isolate certain areas and they just keep building up and, you know, they have it do you for you. Uh, this is more the way I like to do it just because I can get a little bit more of an accurate. So the motion, of course, is he's going left to right. And I'm going to stretch these as far as I can. Sometimes it gets uh, a little crazy, but uh, you need it to because in order to uh, do this effect the best, you know, most, you know, perfect way, I guess, and to do it, 
successfully it's going you're going to need to make sure that this is just so crazy um, so any any body part that you th think you know that area is moving um, that's you just kind of want to pull out and to that way I guess And then, you know, of course, I'm going to bring this out just because he is moving here. And we'll see. Nope, I don't want that. And then once you're done with that, you hit OK. And of course, before you could not create the mask, but um, hold on, let me quit out of Illustrator because my computer is blowing up right now. <laughs> um, Anyways, uh, like if I disable this real quick or you know, I'll delete the mask, you can see the liquify automatically works. All you'd have to do is click the mask and invert it. So what you're going to want to do here to kind of give this a look like, you know, there's a bunch of stuff going around him. I have brushes that I actually created that will be up in my store. Um, they're just a bunch of different 3D debris brushes. Um, you can kind of see, and what I usually do is I, I kind of just, uh, you know, uh, go crazy with them in, in that way. So yeah, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, I bought them, or I didn't buy them, I, I, <laughs> I made them, but you can buy them on uh, my store. Uh, here's one of the, the brushes I tend to use a lot, or, you know, one of them I created as well. So you can get a bunch of them. Uh, but what you do with these is you just do the shape dynamics, you switch the size jitter all the way up, um, your angle jitter, which basically makes it spin in that way. And what I usually do here is I just kind of, I eye what, what I'm kind of uh, in, in envisioning what I'm trying to do. So um, I usually start with small, you know, kind of coming off here. Uh, you know, just very subtle in a way. And just kind of in that that type of way. And then as I kind of want to increase the uh, how crazy it gets is kind of when I really make these big. And as you can see, I'm just clicking and, you know, undoing everything because I want to make sure that I get certain brushes in certain areas. Um, if not, it's all good. Uh, just trying to get some big brushes going on here. Well, that's a that'd be kind of a cool one. Oh, there we go. And yeah, so that's basically what we have so far. And and this is literally is all on one layer. So you don't even I mean like you can disable it as well. Like you know, disable enable and that's what you have now of course I'm using the eraser tool just so you guys know I'm not using a brush tool because the brush tool is not going to work because you're on a black layer mask and you're deleting a black layer mask to give you know this type of thing now on the actual figure sometimes I like to duplicate and keep an original is I actually like to go pretty small and just kind of for so just for select areas I kind of like to erase using the same brush on certain areas kind of giving the effect that these are actually pulling straight off of him and it works a lot sometimes it it's like you know it's too much Oop, I'm sorry I'm zoomed out there <laughs> but yeah um, And that's kind of what we have so far. So, you know, I can go a little bit crazier here. Oh, you know, kind of looking like that. Okay, so that's kind of what we have. And now, to kind of give movement, a lot of people what they what they really don't do well is they don't they kind of just leave a debris brush, or they'll add like a motion blur and that's it. Now, one of the most um, common things that I see people do is they use like you know filter Gaussian blur and then that you know delete certain things when you don't need that. You have this blur tool. I usually set it to 
soft brush. It can be anywhere from 80 to 150, you know, however big the area is. And then uh, strength, anywhere from 30 to 50. Right now I'm going to do 50 because I know how I use the tool. It's a lot easier for me to use the tool that way, and I also am very familiar with it, so I know how much, if I click, you know, how much it's going to blur. So to give this dimension and really make something look like it's jumping out at you, uh, of course, you're going to want to erase the bigger, or not erase, but blur the bigger portions. So you're so your bigger, um, I guess, explosion parts are really what's going to set this apart. So, kind of blur these ones on his head. Because ultimately, when you're looking at something, and something gets really, really close to your face, you start to blur at it naturally than when it's further away. Um, and sometimes you can just kind of give nice blurs certain areas just just kind of give it like it's feeling in motion now the other thing a lot of people like to do is they like to add a drop shadow to certain things uh, trying to find out how oh yeah so uh, this one it's moving to the top to the left move this down to about two move this to about five not even maybe like 15 actually no oh, actually Let's see what this looks like. actually that's kind of cool but no yeah and, and you can really screw with the the uh the opacity and uh what things look like and, and that's kind of what um the effect really is and then a lot of uh a lot of my work is i i go over with white masks um just for the fact that i like to accentuate light in certain areas oop sorry and I'll just kinda there's that there's that and there's that and that's kinda what I've been doing a lot lately um, with these types of uh, uh, designs and then you know I'll, I'll add you know words or something something like that uh, it's very simple and a lot of people don't really uh, look at it that way but uh, yeah so you can buy a lot of my debris brushes on there I have two packs I should have up now um, I'll have a link in the description of where you can buy them they're not expensive but also um, one other thing that a lot of people were asking me is is uh, threshold type stuff so a lot of people are like well how the hell did I get that effect it's all threshold there's you just literally go into your adjustments threshold you can just overlay and then you kind of just I go to about there to where you can see enough dark spots and then depending upon um, what your background is so our background here as you can see is black and white it's pretty standard actually this is we're gonna make this is a off-white but we're gonna make this pure white and as you can see the dark spots are gonna start to uh, enhance out but uh, what I do is, is if you just kind of do a hue saturation and you do colorize if you go darker it's gonna kinda darken this area that type of stuff um, but a lot of the time I, an easier way to do it is if you just add a gradient map add this and then you can kind of invert it uh, like for instance hypothetically let's say we have a red background here and we wanted a blue a dark darkish blue for his uh, thing so what we could do here As you can kind of see what we did here is, is you know that's that and then you can add uh, the same type of color so our blue right here we have uh, we have the eraser on right now so this is where you would do your brush and you would go down to your my debris brushes do the same thing shape dynamics size minimum angle jitter this is all on your uh, brushes presets or window and you just kind of add to it in, a, in this way uh, as you can see 
So uh, after that, then you do the same thing. Blur the big parts, and you are should be good to go. Yeah, and that's basically it, guys. Uh, I have a pack coming out prior to my 80k pack that will be, of course, out every single time. That is on my cell fi. It's basically all my stuff for my cell fi for really, really good price. It's not going to be expensive. It's going to be like $20, which is pretty pretty damn good deal. And you're going to get a shit ton of stuff that's not on my cell fi, uh, cell fi and a lot of other things that are. So it's a really great deal for, you know, good bang for your buck, shall I say. Anyways. Thank you guys again for sticking around <laughs> through all these years. And uh, thanks again to uh, Blaze and Formula and everyone for letting me rejoin Red. It was a uh, huge opportunity. So thanks again, guys. And I've been rated, so deuces.